we would probably find the forms of life becoming simpler and simpler. And that man has existed for not more than one two thousandth of the history of the world. Birds appeared before man and have probably inhabited the earth for very roughly one thirteenth of its life. The records indicate that mammals appeared before birds but it is generally agreed that both groups probably arose at about the same time. Cold-blooded reptiles have lived upon Earth for roughly one-ninth of its existence. However, in point of numbers, kinds, and actual tonnage of protoplasmic material involved, insects have been the dominant forms of life on Earth for about one-seventh of all time. Records in the rocks indicate that there were worms before insects. But it is only since invention of the microscope, about 300 years ago, that man has known that still smaller and simpler creatures exist. Their work resulted in a gradual accumulation of facts about the structure of living things that have been absorbed into one of the greatest generalizations of history, the cell theory. This states that all animals and plants are composed of tiny building blocks or units called cells. Each chromosome splits, forming two which separate. Little is known of the nature of the real force which causes them to move to the opposite poles of the cell. It remains one of life's great mysteries. An equatorial division channel forms at the cell surface and sinks or squeezes inward quickly and simultaneously from all sides. The division and growth of cells of a grasshopper which you have seen has been condensed for you by time-lapse photography into a period of about seven minutes. In life, it takes much longer. <laughs>